all right welcome back to another video on building multi-purpose laravel and view through application and in the previous video we work on adding validations for this settings page and we have saved those records in our database right but it will not make any sense unless we use those settings throughout our applications right so in this video i will show you how we can use those settings throughout our applications and also i will show you how we can use cache effectively so that we will prevent querying uh, those settings multiple times and I will also show you how we can create default settings and use it uh, if we don't have any records in our database. So throughout this video, you will learn lots of cool things. So make sure to watch till the end of this video. So we'll be implementing this step by step. So now let's get started. So first, let's start by pagination limit. So we have pagination limit on our settings and we have saved these records in our database as well. And it will be great if we use that settings to display the list of users and paginate them based on these settings over here. So let's do that part first. So let me open up the code editor and let me go to user controller, user controller over here. And we have already called the paginate method and by default it will use uh, 15, but we can sense that value over here. If I pass the 10 as an argument and let me refresh this page, then we see 10 users. This is perfect, but it will be great uh, instead of using this default value by passing it manually. It will be great if we use uh, settings uh, value instead of this default value. So we're using setting. So to use setting effectively, we'll be creating the helper method. So let's go to app and inside this app folder, let me create one file called helper.psp. Let me create this and inside this, let's create the function for settings. So let me create a function called setting and we'll receive the key. And for now, from here, let's just return two. Okay, I just want to show you. And after creating this file, we need to go to composer.json and inside this auto load after PSR4, let's auto load that file. So we want to auto load files and inside this, we can pass the array. And we want to auto load from app helpers.psp we want to auto load this file and after making the changes on this uh, composer digestion file uh, we need to run composer dump auto load so that these changes will get effect now let me go to user control over here and instead of passing 10 manually let's use that helper function and for now let's just pass pagination limit and we haven't used that key in our in our settings function but later we'll use that but if we go to settings function we are just returning two so pagination limit should be two if i refresh this page then we have two users which is perfect now instead of just returning two let's write the actual implementations let's create the settings variable and for now let's just access directly from our database so settings and i want to plug value and key and let's call the all method and make sure to import it and then from here we can return it settings and we are getting the key as pagination limit so we can use that key over here and if that key don't match anything then we can simply return false so now let's try this again let me refresh it and on our database we have five as the pagination limit but let's change this to six save changes and if i come back over here on users now we see six users and this is working perfectly fine now let's do the same for registered date format as well so it will be better if we use that from our settings so let me go to a user list item.view file and here we are using a helper function uh, which is javascript helper function that we have created in our previous uh, video but instead of using this let me remove this and use formatted created at date user.formatted created 8 and if i head over to user.psv file and we have created a method and in our appends we have appended that key called formatted created at date and to format the date we are using the value from config app and date format so instead of using this let's replace this with setting and we want to pass date format as a key and we have this key 
So if I go to users and we get this state format which is not working as we expected, right? So to fix this, let me go to update setting dot view file and over here on this select options, we are passing this values, but this will not work uh, in our PSP side. This format will work uh, on JavaScript, but we have different format uh, while using PSP. So for this state format in PSP, we need to do MDY. And let's change this as well to DMY. Let's change this to YMD. And for month, DD and year, uh, this alternative in PSP will be FJY. Let's send this as well. JFY. So if you are curious where these are coming from, then you can search for PSP date format. And you can search for PSP date format. And if you go to this link, then you will learn everything about date format. So it is providing the description for these characters, right? So we were using J and for the description, it is saying that day of the month without leading zeros, which is great. Let me close this. Uh, let me go to settings and let's change this date format to this date format. If I click on save, we'll be saving that. And if I refresh over here, now the date format is F, J, comma, Y. So that we can easily format based on that date format using PSP. So we formatted that date as we expected, right? This is perfect. So while using that setting helper function, we need to be careful because it will query records every time if we access that setting function. So to prevent querying multiple times, we can use cache. So let me go to helpers.psv file. So while using that uh, setting helper function throughout our applications, currently we need to query the settings every time, which is not great, right? So to prevent this, let's use cache. So let's implement cache over here. We want to cache this results and let's make sure to import it from Illuminate support for search cache. We want to cache it for forever. Uh, we'll be calling the remember forever. And we need to pass the key. So for key, let's do settings. And as a second argument, let's pass the closure. And inside this, we can draw on this query. So let's do return this. Now we can remove this and let's save this as settings. Okay, so if we don't have this key in our cache, then it will run this query. But if we have already saved records in our cache, then it will not run this query. So which is very great for performance, right? Because we'll be using these settings, uh, setting helper throughout our applications many times. Now let me try one more time refresh it we have five let me go to settings we have six but it is displaying five right because i have already created that cache uh, so let me remove it using psp artisan cache clear so our cache is clear now if i refresh it then we are getting six uses now let me change this to seven click on save changes and this got saved but if I go to users, we are still getting six users, right? Uh, and this is happening because we are using cache. Though our records are changed in our database, in our database it is seven, but it is still showing six because we are using cache. So while updating settings, we need to flush the cache so that these changes will take effect. So let's do that part. So let me go to setting controller, setting controller. And after we update the setting, let's flush the cache using cache flush. And we want to flush settings. And make sure to import it from Illuminate support for search cache. Now let me try one more time. Click on save changes. It is seven. If I go to users, now it is also showing seven users. Now let me change it again to eight. Save changes go to users and it is taking effect which is perfect now let me go to settings and we also have app name so let's display this name over here and as well as on footer as well so for that let me go to app.blade.psp which is the main layout file and on the footer let me remove this let's add hashtag and initial admin lt let's use our setting setting app name and instead of this date uh, we can show that date dynamically using 
uh, death helper function as well so if i refresh this page and this is taking effect so let's do the same for this side of our text as well let me search for admin lt3 and over here we have that let's replace this with setting app name now this is working and if i just remove laravel in view and click on save changes now these changes are saved but we need to refresh it to see those changes over here so we are getting laravel in view this is perfect now let me show you another interesting thing so if i go over here and let's remove every records from our database so let me delete this and our settings table is currently empty but if i go over here on users and it is showing at users it is showing that formatted date and it is also showing that app name as well right so those are coming from cache though we don't have records in our database and it is still displaying those for us because those were stored in cache so let me clear the cache as well so for that let's do psp artisan cache clear and it cleared the cache now our applications will broke let me refresh it and this is broken right we don't see app name we see this broken design we don't see registered date and by default it is showing 15 users so to prevent this let's create default settings uh, for our applications so for that let me go to config and inside this let's create the settings.psp file for our configurations settings.psp and inside this we can simply return the array and let's create default key and inside this we'll be returning array and by default the app name will be laravel and view 3 date format will be mdy and pagination limit will be 10 now let me show you how we can use this default settings uh, though we don't have any settings saved in our database so for that let me go to helper function uh, which is inside of helpers.psp file over here we can add the conditionals to check uh, if we don't have any settings so we can do if we don't have any settings then we can set the settings to config settings dot default right and to get those values we need to use this config helper function and we want to get the values uh, from settings default now let's try this let me refresh it now we see this default settings taking effect right this is very great let me change the pagination limit from 10 to 5 so if i go over here I can change this value easily refresh it now this is taking effect which is great but if i go to settings page over here this is empty right so it will be great if we fill out this form with default settings as well so let's do that part let me go to settings controller and let me go to index method so instead of returning this uh, directly let's store this inside of settings and we can check if we don't have any settings then can simply return it from config settings dot default and if we have the settings then we can simply return the settings right and by making this change this will take effect so let me refresh it and it is taking effect so though we don't have any records in our database if i refresh it we don't have any records but we are displaying it over here uh, to make it intuitive right because user will know that these are coming from uh, here and later ones they can simply make the changes so if they change this to six click on save and this is displaying the message but i know this will not work because if i if i refresh it yeah this is not saving our records in our database uh, so we need to fix it first so to fix it let me go to update method over here and we are performing this query we are searching for this key but actually we don't have any key any records in our database so instead of using the where clause uh, let's use the method called update or create so we can call the method on our setting model we can call update or create 
and for the first argument we need to pass the array that we want to search for and it will be key and the key will be this key and as the second argument we need to pass additional informations and for that we'll be passing the value so let me remove this so if the key is found in our database then it will simply update those with this value but if we don't found any key in our database then it will create new record with this key and value so let's try this let me go to settings uh, click on save changes and it is still not working let me open up the console let me go to network tab uh, maybe it is of mass assignment so yeah it is of mass assignment error so let's go to setting model and let's do protected guarded is empty array and if i save the changes again then we are getting this notification and if i go over here and refresh this then we have these records which is perfect now let me close this if i go to users now we see six users let's change this to seven and click on users now we have seven users which is perfect but if i remove everything from our settings table then our default settings will take effect right so let me refresh it now we have seven users because it is coming from the cache but if i clear the cache using psp addition cache clear then default settings will take effect and we see five users because on our, our default settings we have said this is five let me change this to 10 now we have 10 users and on our settings page it is filled out uh, users can simply change this to five click on save changes those are updated on our database so these records are created because we don't have that uh, previously so this is working perfectly fine right so this much for this video i hope this video was helpful for you and i hope you learn how to use cas uh, how to use helper functions for settings uh, how to create and use default settings so make sure to like share and subscribe to this channel as i will be uploading videos like this so till then have a great time and i will see you on the next one